My lord, I'm afraid you were right when you said these hostilities wouldn't end at Probislavitz. That comes as no surprise. What has happened? The men reported two more attacks today. <clears throat> ah, Henry. I'm glad you're here. It seems like we'll have another task for you. Come and join us. My lord. Greetings, lad. The bandits raided a few remote hamlets, but that's the least of our worries. They also attacked Merhoyed, and that's a much more serious matter. Merhoyed? Matthias is working there. They attacked right after the battle in Pervislavitz. Bastards are probably trying to prove they're still strong. But there's a silver lining. The villagers held them off. And they even took one captive. He's wounded, but we can still interrogate him. Your graces. I hope I'm not intruding. On the contrary, Master Tobias. Unlike Bernard, you are the bearer of good tidings. Or so I gather from the coin you carry. Tell me, how many Groshen did we find in Pribislavitz? My lord, I'm sorry, but my news is no better than Captain Bernard's. These coins are very good. That is to say, well-made facsimiles, as we call them. Uh, fac what? I don't give a fac what you call them. I want to know what they're facking worth. Uh, that's just it, sir. They're worth nothing. Are you saying what I think you're saying, Master Tobias? Um... This here... Is just a pile of copper. Kurva! Fuck! Plated with silver, so it's still of some... ...worth. Mm. Kurva! Fuck! Is it a lot of work to make such counterfeits, Master Tobias? I should say so, sir. Highly demanding work. Especially to make such plausible forgeries. They would need a well-hidden foundry, several craftsmen, and a source of material. But they could just be brought in from somewhere else, could they not? Well, they could, but then again, the silver mines are nearby, and these groshes seem freshly minted, so... So we are Fuck. facing a foe who has almost limitless sources of coin. That's yeah. all we need. Doppler devil. Well, gentlemen, it's clear what we have to do. Interrogate that captive bandit, find out their numbers, and promptly cut off their supply of money. Otherwise, they'll soon have another encampment. Well, they haven't already. I doubt it, sir. Merhayed wouldn't have been able to hold them off if they did. Well, lad, I said it we'd have work for you, but it never crossed my mind there would be this much. You've already proved your worth as an investigator, so I'm putting my faith in you again. Go to Merhayed and question that captive. Find out where those brigands are hiding, how many there are, and what they're planning. And while you're at it, see if you can find some clues as to where this counterfeit coin is coming from. Very well, sir. Good luck. We're counting on you. All of us. Come report to me as soon as you know anything. I'll be at the lookout point near Talmberg. God save you, Henry. God be with you.
Henry. What happened here? Horror of horrors, Master. We were attacked by some bandits, and then the plague broke out. Jesus Christ. That's right. The Almighty has sent this punishment on us. These bandits, who were they? Some thieving rabble. What do I know? Maybe those damned Cumans. But they spoke Czech. Ask the captive at the Melichars. I'm looking for Matthias. I think he works at the stud here. Matthias, Matthias. Wait, I know. He's not been here long. Isn't that right? Not long, it's true. Well, those bastards got him. He's laid up at the stud now. His arm's in a bad way. But at least he's still alive. Thank you. And the disease? Tell me something about it. I don't want to tempt fate by talking about it. It makes me shudder to think of it. There's not much to tell anyway. It hit us just after that rabble left. First the horses died, then livestock, and now it's people. Like Melikar's wife, poor thing. Where will I find Melikar? If you stand at the main gate of the stables and look across the road, Melikar's is the house on the left. Thank you. That's all. Sore eyes. What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, Matthias. Sir Radzig sent me here to investigate the raid. Sir Radzig? Looks like you've come up in the world, mate. You're here as his envoy? He took me into his garrison. Hal the blacksmith's boy in the service of his lordship. Who'd have ever thought it? My luck hasn't been so good. You survived. That's something to thank God for. True enough. If I were in your shoes, I'd get the hell out of here. There's some disease spreading. Disease? Folk are saying it's the plague. Whatever it is, it's bad. It started the day after the raid. First the horses got sick, then other animals, and now people are falling ill too. Oh, damn! Car. Oh, aye, that's me. I need to speak with the prisoner. And why is that? Who might you be? Henry, envoy of Saradzi Kobola. 
I'm here to investigate the attack. I'm sorry. I have other things on my mind right now. In case you hadn't noticed, we have pestilence raging here. And Sir Adzig won't help us with that any more than he helped us when we were attacked. No news has reached Ratai of any disease here. But I'm here now, and I can help you. Hmm. Well, since you serve Sir Adzig, you might be of some use. If anyone can be. Tell me what to do. There's a stable hand living with us here, Matthias. Yes, I know him. And he knows some girl who helps out in the monastery infirmary. Your hanker, I think her name is. She might know someone to turn to, if she's actually there. Very well. I'll go to the monastery. It's probably our best hope. Thank you. At least for taking the trouble. But then, even if you cared nothing for us, the prisoner's got the pestilence too. He'll die without help. If I have to go to the monastery, I need to know as much as possible about the disease. I'll definitely need to know its symptoms. They're bound to ask me that. It's hard to say. My wife is feverish. Others have the chills. I heard some are throwing up. Others still are breaking out in sores. But why don't you see for yourself? People talk a lot and I don't know what to believe anymore. Very well. I'll make the rounds. I've daubed lime on the afflicted houses. But don't stay too long in those homes. <laughs> that I can promise you. Can't you see we have the plague cross on the door? My name is Henry. I'm going to the monastery to get help. It's long past time. The Lord's already taken my poor Antony. And what do you want from me? I need to know how the illness afflicted your husband. Yes, I'll tell you everything. But first help me bury my husband. I'm too weak. And Melichar said the dead should be buried at once. Of course I'll help you. Thank you. We have to bury him at the back of the house. There's a lovely linden tree there. I understand. I'll dig the grave there. Thank you. When you're ready, come back. I'll say goodbye for now. eternal rest. Will you please tell me about his illness? Certainly. My husband had the fever all over. Anything else? He had great pains in his belly. He said it felt like he'd been stuffed with rocks. He was writhing all night through. It must have hurt terribly. Thank you.
Dearest brother, is that you? Yes, it's me, your um, brother. My friend is nearly here. We need to get the scallops for the fair. Um, tell me, brother, how are you feeling? Wait, you're, you're not my brother. You're one of those brutes. Brother, what? lock the door. They're back again. Please, God, no. Brother, don't you recognize me? It's me. I'm your, your brother. I was gone for a long time. I've come back home for Advent, remember? Yes, uh, yes, I remember. Give me a drink of water, brother. Oh, I'm thirsty, terribly thirsty. I feel like I'm burning in hell. I can drink a pitcher of water and right away I'm parched again. Mike. Stop! Pitch up the white horse. And my chestnut horse. for my wife. You're out of luck. I hold straw, don't you know? Straw! You've taken my son. But you shan't take my wife, you bastard. I've come to help your wife. To help her over to the other side. Isn't that God's own truth? I'm sorry that they killed your son. I truly am sorry. But if you don't want that disease to take your wife, You'll let me see her right away. I can help her. I... I don't undertake it, no. There. You see? Eh? Uh, what? Are you a quack? Something like that. Then go to it. Go! What the hell? Fever, just like Melchar's wife. Jesus, lad, what are you doing here? Can't you see the play cross on the door? I'm here because of it. The monastery sent me to help. God bless you, boy. It's about time. I need to know exactly what you're suffering from. Oh, I see. Well, I have a dreadful fever. My wife, too. I recall almost nothing of yesterday. I was raving for most of it. Is there anything else? Apart from the fever? Well, forgive me for saying so. The shit just pours out of me. I can't keep anything in. I'm completely worn out. My wife's the same. You have my thanks. I'll try to bring help. Wait a minute, will you? I have one favour to ask. So tell me. I need to write my will. Can you write? I might manage that. Excellent. So get writing. Yes. I, Vincent, son of Vincent, grandson of Vincent of Mehoyed, do bequeath my estate and all my worldly goods to my wife, Wilma. 
If my wife were to pass away with me, mm -hmm. I bequeath all to my cousin Dobesh, at this time the cobbler in Yanovitz. In no event shall my prodigal son Elia, the layabout and good-for-nothing, inherit a single groschen, all customs and traditions aside. Um, should I write that too? Yes, and then write... The executor of my last will is to be my good friend, Father Fabian, presently the parish priest at the church of St. Martin in Sasso. Anything else? This will was written down by. What is your name? Henry, presently in fealty to Sir Radzig Kobola. Well, I never. That will add some weight. Here, take my ring so Fabian will know it to be truly from me. You can never be sure nowadays. All right, I'll head off then. Yes, go now. Go before you catch the disease. Then where will we be? Welcome, Henry. I don't know if you've heard about it, but... Mel God! He's being brave about it, but his injury looks bad. I... need to see him. Before you go, there's something else. What? Some kind of disease has taken hold in Merhoyed. Their livestock has died off, and now the people are coming down with it too. I thought maybe someone here might know what to do. Merciful heavens. How awful. It's a good thing you've come here. If there's any hope, this is the place to find it. You need Brother Nicodemus, the monastery physician. He may know how to deal with it. I'll try to find him. Come. Thank you, Johanka. Some kind of disease has taken hold in Merhoyed. Your hanker said that you might be able to advise. A disease, you say? How intriguing. Yes. I can't say at this point. To find out a little more. Tell me, has the whole village come down? No, I mean, not yet. Several households have, around half the village. Merhoyed? Isn't there a stud farm there? And what of the animals? Did they get infected too? 
Yes, there's a stud farm. And they've all died. Little chickens. And now it's got to the peak. Intriguing. What are we to Yes, more or less. Excellent. I have several extensive volumes here in the library. Describe the epidemic, including the symptoms, and we could take some guidance there. Can you read? Yes, I can. Excellent. So follow me to the scriptorium. So, where shall we start? Evidently there's something amiss in the digestive tract. In the what? The digestive tract, Henry. Um, right. <sighs> the trouble lies between the mouth and the arsehole. Uh-huh. Sure. Just so. We can rule nothing out at this stage. You look in the Breviarum to Sickness Causa. It's a renowned manuscript from Salerno, written by one Johann of St. Paul. But I don't know Latin. Fortunately for you, our brother librarian is translating these momentous medical works into the common tongue. So you can still be of use. Study the breviary carefully and compare the symptoms with the recorded cases. That will guide us. I'll try the proven classics. Avicenna and his Can Medicinae, and Galen's Magnum Opus, the Ars Medicinalis. Go away. I want nothing to do with you. I think I have it. Yes? And what do you make of it? It's poisoning from tainted water. Really? That sounds rather unlikely. But if Master Johann of St. Paul's says so, who am I to contradict him? We shall have to prepare some medicine at once. I could help with that. Really? Yes. I know my way around the alchemistic arts. An ordinary fellow who knows the arts of physic? Who would have thought it? Excellent. I'll give you the recipe. And you have my permission to make use of the monastery laboratory. I'll get started right away. I, meanwhile, shall head straight to... Uh, where was it again? Merhoyed. Oh, yes, Merhoyed. I'll take your hanker with me. She has no equal in caring for the sick. Once you have the medication ready, hurry after me. Thank you, Brother Nicodemus. There's one man there who needs your care more urgently than anyone. He's an important witness in the investigation of some murders. Out of the question. I shall spend time with the sick in order of their medical needs, not your worldly needs.
So, here I am. How are things looking? It doesn't look good at all, my boy. Do you have the potion? Yes, here it is. I'll take four doses, you take the rest and let's split up. I'll see to the straw family while you deal with Melikar's wife and the rest. They wouldn't let me go near that prisoner. They want him to suffer. Despite his terrible crimes to treat a fellow mortal soul like that. Perhaps I'll be able to convince them. I promised I'd bring them help and I've kept my word. They must let me go to him. I hope so, but in the short while I've been here, I found the locals to be rather stubborn. Are you serious? You're back? Yes, and I have something to make you well again. Good Lord above, thank you for showing us your mercy. Drink this and give it to everyone in the house. I've also brought someone who will take care of you until you get back on your feet. Thank you, Good Samaritan. Brother, is that you? We have to hitch up the sled. Yes, yes, the sled. Just you drink this and you'll be fine. Is this holy water, brother? It is. Drink some and give it to the others in the house too. Brother Nicodemus will come to check on you. You're back. Of course. I always keep my word. I don't doubt that, naturally. Did you deliver my will? Not as yet. Then be quick about it, please. A man on his deathbed must set his house in order. Don't worry. I brought a remedy from Sasau. Drink this regularly, you and everyone in the house. A remedy? You have hands of gold. Pure gold, my boy. God bless you. God be with you, good sir. I brought some help, as promised. Will you let me see the prisoner? I will let you, I will. Of course I will. My boy, if you've really brought a potion to rid the scourge, I'll let you do anything. Ah, oh, whether I've managed to rid you of the scourge, that remains to be seen. It'll take a few days before we know whether the potion worked. I know, but even so... Just the fact that someone cares, that means a lot to us.
Thank Brother Nicodemus. Without him, there'd have been no potion. I'll do that. Now open up that shed. Now let's wait and see what happens. Make it stop! <laughs> Welcome back to the land of the living. Who are you? My name is Henry, and I'm investigating on behalf of Sir Radzig Kobala. Oh, I see. You'll have an easy job with me, boy. How so? I won't give you any problems. That's sensible of you. I'm a sensible man. Only I'd like to get it over quick, and not keep the Rate Executioner busy too long, if you catch my drift. I understand. What do you want to know? Everything. First, tell me who's behind all this. Who do you follow? I follow the coin, lad. We all do. That's not news to me, but who pays the coin? I got my pay from Runt, like all the men in Pribislavitz. And Runt got his money from the chief. And the chief had the coin minted. <laughs> Who's the chief? The bandit leader? Bandit? If he heard you say that, he'd have your head on a spike. That's the kind of man he is. Nobody knows much about him, though. Only that he ain't Czech. Where's that chief of yours now? I've no idea. After Privis Lovitz, he ordered us to raid Merhoyed, but he wasn't with us. He went off who knows where. I don't reckon he'll be out of your hair for long, though. So he's a foreigner? German? Don't think so. For sure he ain't Czech. And he's got plenty of coin. I'd stake my neck on it. He's got noble blood in his veins. Judging by how he looks? More by the way he talks. Any man can dress up like nobility, but he spoke all la-di-da, like a lord. So the chief is in command of all these operations? You could say. I'd say you're looking at it all wrong, though. How's that? You ask who's in charge and who answers to who. Only this ain't some noble court. There was all sorts of gangs in Primislavitz, big and small. Robber barons who had their own... Brigades calling them my lord. Common footbags who hadn't a pot to piss in. Men came, men went. Lots of squabbles, the occasional murder. Old cronies and old rivals were meeting. Know what I mean? I suppose so. It was one big muddle. The main thing was nobody asked questions. I didn't give a damn who the chief was or what he had in mind or whether he had one ball or two. All I was interested in was the coin. Uh -huh. How did you know about Privis Lovitz? Who took you there? A fellow by the name of Moorcock. We met near Kuttenberg. I was robbing burghers who were fleeing the town from Sigismund's army. We got to talking and he told me about Privis Lovitz. Why did you attack Merhoyed? The chief himself gave us the order. Uh, I reckon he wanted to show the local lords 
He was nowhere near finished. So he's planning more raids? The chief's always planning something. Privis Lovitz was only the start. So you knew the coin was counterfeit? Of course I did. I brought those groschen to Privis Lovitz, along with a few other things. Did you? And where did the forgeries come from? Like, where were they made? I don't know. Some merchant by the name of Menhart gave them to me. We used to meet at the charcoal piles near Rovna, by the crossroads there. As it happens, I'm supposed to be meeting him there about now. So Menhart's waiting there? Might be. Might not. He could have heard what happened in Privis Lovitz and decided not to show. And does this Menhart know where the coin comes from? How should I know? To me, he's just another link in the chain. I deal with him, and I never ask who he deals with. Just like he knows nothing about me. I see. So I suppose there's no point asking you if you know any more about him. It'd be a waste of breath. All he did was give me the coin, and then we went our separate ways. Who else knows about the money? Apart from the chief, Menhart, Runt and me, there was a few others. The men got some real money too with the false stuff. It'd be suspicious if they only had freshly minted coin. You said you used to bring other things. What were they? Letters. Menhart would give them to me for the chief. And this time I was taking an answer back to Menhart too. Have you still got that letter? Aye. The yokels round here ain't got much interest in correspondence. Apparently. Give it to me then. I'd be delighted. What were the letters about? If I knew how to read, I wouldn't be trusted to carry letters, would I? I took them from Menhart to the chief and back. And that's all. That's all I need to know for now. For now? For the love of Christ, boy, don't let the executioner interrogate me. I've already told you everything I know. You're a thief and a murderer. How many widows and orphans have you made? And now you ask for mercy? <laughs> a bit of torture will cleanse your soul. Henry! I think old Straw's come for the brigand! Step back from that Eden, young fella! But, but you can't kill me! Not just like that! Shut the fuck up, you weasel! I keep it fucking shut! You don't even get a say! Calm down, Straw. He won't escape justice after all his... Don't stand in my way, Melikar! Let Henry decide. He's the one who saved his life. He's coming with me. He's Sir Radzik's prisoner, and only Sir Radzik has the right to decide if he lives or dies. I don't give a fuck about you or Sir Radzik fucking Kabila. That bastard killed my boy, and I'm gonna kill him. You'll have to deal with me first. Ah! 
shit! Go! Go! Welcome, Henry! Henry. What troubles you? I've returned from Mahoyed, sir. How does it look there? I brought them help from the monastery. Brother Nicodemus and Yahanka from Skalitz. Fortunately, Nicodemus was able to cure the disease. Well, at least what he's doing looks promising so far. Thank Christ. Some good news for a change. What about the captive? Did you question him? He was infected too. I see. Did he survive? Fortunately, he survived and I had a chance to question him. What did you find out? He was transporting the false coins to Privislavitz. He got them from some merchant called Menhart. 
I don't know him. Neither do I. But I know where the money's handed over. It's not far from Rovna, and this Menhart should be waiting there about now. Excellent, Henry. We mustn't let this opportunity slip through our fingers. You go there and put pressure on this Menhart to tell us what he knows. Don't go yet. There's something I'd like to talk to you about. You haven't disappointed me. Nothing against Bernard, Robard, or any of those others. But none of them could find out as much as you. At least not without beatings and torture. And that doesn't always work. You're a godsend, lad. Thank you, sir. Now go and find out who's behind everything, and then we'll deal with them. Yes, sir. Sir. What is it? Sometimes I ask myself what, what it all means. Why does God allow such things to happen? All this slaughter and revenge over and over. It's a hard question. I'm no theologian. But long ago I came to the conclusion that the only thing that makes sense is that it's all a trial. Life is one long series of problems to solve. The more you solve, the better a man you become. I never thought about it that way. Well, just look at the pampered ones who have no concerns in life, like young Lord Capon, for instance. I shudder to think how he will rule when his time comes. Tribulations spawn in life over and over again. We must stand our ground and face them. So, I go to Sasso and solve this one. Hmm? You can rely on me, sir. Good luck, son. <laughs>